Yo, yo, yo! I can't even believe I'm saying this, but YouTube, man's back! <laughs> Yo! Last time I checked it was like 600 days plus since man was back on YouTube. It's been a roller coaster of a journey the time that I've been away and we're all gonna get up to speed but right now, right, 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 right now, I don't know where I am exactly but I'm in Kinderskart Reservoir somewhere. For anybody that's been Kinderskart, drop it down in the comments, let me know where I am because I don't know where I am. <laughs> I can't even believe I'm tuning in with you lot right now. I really can't. It's been emotional. And like I said, I'm going to bring you lot right up to speed and explain exactly where I've been and exactly why the link up ride is the last video I posted over a year and a half ago, if I'm not mistaken. For those that have been following me from the start, as you already know, from the start, man hasn't had a helmet. But guess what? That's right. Man's got a helmet now. No more games. We're in. Oh, I almost forgot as well. Yep, man's got goggles too. I feel like I've been stood here talking for long enough. Let's make it happen. I just can't even believe it because man's back, you know? <laughs> and so it begins. This ain't the best start, I don't think. I don't know if the camera's going to do this any justice, but that is steep. I might already be pushing the bike, but I'm definitely going to give it a try. Ugh. Yep, that didn't last long at all. <laughs> going to put these new tires to the test. Let me know in the comments as well. Who's rocking Strollbiz? More importantly, who's rocking this combo? Magic mirror at the front, hands damp at the back. I've only been on a handful of rides since putting these tires on, but this is going to be the first proper test. And this is padlock, so what does that mean? I'm going. I didn't come all this way to make a gate stop me. I've got no idea where I am or where I'm heading. I'm only following this path because it's a path. It's just hills and more hills and mountains and hills and hills and mountains. I feel like I'm making zero progress right now. Oh my gosh, what have I got myself into? <laughs> oh my days. I don't even know how to feel right now. I don't know whether to be happy that I'm here looking at this mad view or be wounded that I'm stood here looking at this mad view. I really was praying. You know, when I was coming over that hill, I was really praying that on the other side of that hill is going to be some trails, road, civilization, something. Let me take this helmet off. I was going to wait until I found somewhere nice to sit down and fully explain where I've been. But the longer that I stand here, I feel like this is the reason why I came here because maybe this is perfect. First and foremost, without this, it's not a Gem Ventures video. You already know. I ain't going any single place without this. But before we even get to this, let's rewind all the way back to July 2018, just before the Link Up ride. Yeah! Yeah! Oh my day! What's going on, What's going on? You're good? Yes, bro. Let me put that down. Let me get the man down here. Oh my days! Funnily enough, I was working on my bike. My tyres are tubeless. For those that don't know what tubeless tyres are, make sure you hit me up on Instagram because I've got a tutorial on how to convert your tyres to tubeless. But anyway, I'm just working on my bike, working on my bike. And the problem that I had now looking back was when I was working on my bike, I was getting stressed out, bending up and down, bending up and down, bending up and down. And then bam, I came back up from bending over, trying to fix my tyre. All of a sudden, I felt something in my lower back just pop. And as soon as that happened, I was laid out on the floor, literally on my living room floor for 15, 20 minutes straight. Don't know what's gone off. I just know that I felt like a slight pop slash crack. But I'm just thinking I just need to rest my back. Don't do anything too major. Link up rides coming up though. So I've got to somehow get through this pain and make it happen. After filming the link up ride, it even took a while for that to come out. Filmed that in July, but that video didn't drop until October. The first thing I did was get in contact with um, a physio. I ended up going to a place called Physio Direct, shout out Tim. After about four or five weeks, physio wasn't helping. And plus I was paying for it myself as well. So it was just getting expensive and it wasn't really making any difference. So I got in touch with my doctor went to see my doctor, described everything I was going through. After describing it to my physio, I'm describing it again to the doctor. So we get to the end of 2018, we're going to 2019 now. After going to my doctors, I finally get an MRI scan after waiting months and months. Back end of May, I get my results and it turns out I had not one, but two herniated discs slash slip discs in my lower back. So after getting the result now, the next hurdle was, what's gonna help me fix this? In my own time, I'm looking up like what the most common solutions for these kind of problems are. Again, physio, but I know I already tried that. I, I gave that a good shot. Steroid injections was another one. And obviously an operation would be like the top end of the scale. So fast forward, I hit November of 
2019. I finally get a letter saying to go in to get some um, trigger point injections is what they call TPI injections. I had four injections in my lower back, had them injections and immediately, as soon as I got them injections, I felt my back just relax for the first time in months. And then after about 11, 12 days, I felt my back start to tighten back up again and it just, everything just seized up again. I hope I don't get run on by any mountain lions or sheep or goats. Coming up to the end of 2019, I go back to Dr. Hodgkinson, the person that gave me my trigger point injections. I said, look, that didn't, that worked for a little bit, but it hasn't fixed the problem. I'm still in the same boat. So the next thing she recommended was, um, I forget the term, but basically it was a needle in my coccyx, AKA a needle in my tailbone going up into my spine. I'm not too sure, but I think I've got a picture of the day that I went in for that, for that surgery, so I'll throw that in now. That picture there, that is me down and out. Super low, trying to stay strong, hoping and praying that this is gonna work. After about three or four or five days, I was still in agony every single day. My back was just not having it. But by this point, I've, I'm at the end of my rope. I go back to my consultant, go into his office, he sits me down and then he mentioned this thing called um, the biopsychosocial model. So when I go home, I research this biopsychosocial model. It's basically how your mind deals with pain and how if you can control what you think and how you think about the pain that you're going through and think about the injury you've got, you can start to rewire your mind to deal with the pain better, which then in turn eases the pain from the inside out and before long, can slowly get back to doing what it is that you're doing whatever that is so it was at that point i made a decision i had two options sit down do nothing or make a change and see if i can get any form of result now i've got to this point i'm still not 100 percent on a good day i'm 80 percent 85 percent maybe on a bad day 60 percent 65 percent so i'm still not there yet i've still got a ways to go and to all the new subscribers that have come to the channel and click that button not even knowing when i'm gonna next upload yo the love is unreal because you didn't have to subscribe especially when you go on my latest video and you see that it's two years ago and to every single person that's been there from day one and you're still around now yo you know the love's real i don't even need to explain it i think that's kind of it I, I haven't really missed anything for anybody that's going through anything never give up always remain positive and remember listen as, as dark as that tunnel might be as hard as this mountain might be to climb you will get there you will see the light at the end of that tunnel sometimes it might take longer than other times but you will do it we need to make a move because i forgot that i'm literally in the middle of nowhere with no idea where to go that is what I'm talking about. Man's back, baby. <laughs> I never thought I'd be doing this on my first video back in nearly two years. Basically no riding, bare walking, no trails, no nothing. If I was you, I wouldn't even want to watch me do this. So let me get through this somehow and I'll see you lot in a sec. Run, run, run. I don't want no problems, run. <laughs> it's a race. <laughs> Nice one. This is more like it, but the worst thing is, this is the way we came, so it don't even count. Woo! This is more like it, baby! I need to keep it real. I'm not gonna edit these parts out. If I'm pushing my bike, you're gonna see it. Cause I need you lot to see what I'm going through right now. If this ain't dedication, I don't know what is. <sighs> Buried. And to absolutely top it off, so it's like 28, 29 degrees today. Nothing that I've decided to do today seems like it's making sense right now. Hopefully by the end of all this, it's gonna make some sense. Big up to the people that walk this because this is a madness. But the views are epic. Just over there, where it starts to go around that bend is where I think I'm gonna be spinning it around and flying back down. I'm on E right now, I'm in the reserves. I'm not giving up yet, but that looks like a good point. As much as this has been a nightmare and nothing has gone to plan, it has been banging to be out here today. Cause once upon a time, I was in a place where riding and exercising and doing things like this just wasn't on the agenda. It couldn't happen. So to be back doing what it is I love to do, it's a crazy feeling, man. Yep, time to spin it. 
I had a plan today. Well, I thought I had a plan today, but that went out the window from the start. All this time that I spent away from YouTube, trying to plan in my head how I'm gonna come back, where I'm gonna go, having all these thoughts and ideas in my head. So then coming out here today and everything, I don't even know if I can say going wrong. Just not going how I pictured it to go. <laughs> Man had big plans. Woo! This is a madness. <laughs> Being close to the edge like this. I don't know if the camera does it any justice, but if I start tumbling and rolling down there, I don't think I'm gonna stop till I reach the bottom. So glad I'm away from that slope. Right, let's go. Afternoon. All right. right, fellas. Ugh. That one section there made everything that I've been through worth it times 10. And now we've got to climb on our hands. These good parts are short lived today. <laughs> I'm just so happy that I've been able to tune in with you lot today. This has been the most eventful video, but in a weird way, I feel like it's just perfect. Pick up the NHS, even though mum was running you down for like about a year and a half and you just had me on ice. With what's been going off just lately and how the world's just gone to pot, they deserve the credit. Credit where credit's due. Speaking of the world going to pot, I hope everybody's been staying safe, staying well, staying healthy, your loved ones, because it has been a rough time. We've never gone through anything like this before. The main thing is, as long as you're breathing, you've got family around you, loved ones around you that care about you, you care about them, you can't ask for much more. Yo, today has been one of the hardest graphs I've put in for the longest time. It wasn't the most eventful video that I imagined, but yo, none of that's even important. What's important is I'm back and I'm reconnected with my people. The love never goes unnoticed. Big up every single person for the support. You lot are what's kept me going this whole time. In fact, before I go, like I said, I'm back out here. I'm looking to go anywhere and everywhere. You already know how it goes. So if anyone's got any suggestions of where I should hit next, make sure you let me know in the comments. But listen, until the next one, I'm gone. I'll see you lot in a bit.